All right, July 6th, 2017, Crash Your Fitness team call. Um, what do I want to say? Well, I have a slide about Summit, so we'll get into that quickly. Um, but uh, let's – you okay? Let's – tornado coming in. Let's, let's, let's talk uh, recognition. Anyone have any recognition they want to do? I thought I saw a couple on there today. Take yourself off mute if you want, guys. Hey. Hello. Uh, yeah, I want to recognize Erica. She went Emerald today. Nice. Super exciting. Good so job, proud Erica. Of her. <laughs> I see someone cheering on screen. That's awesome. Anyone else? Job, Erica. I do. I have one. Uh, my new coach, Lori, she went Emerald this week as well. So awesome. So rocking it. How long has she been coaching, Erin? Oh, maybe two weeks. Oh, good for her. That's awesome. Is she on here? No. I don't think so. Okay. Um, anyone else? Going once? Going twice? Okay. Let me share a screen, guys. Let's get right into it. I could ever find it. Don't, don't judge me for my, I have to organize my files on my desktop. I told you I was the most unorganized human being ever. If you ever saw my desktop, it's, it's really sad. Okay. Yeah, I have to talk about this for the people who aren't going. I'm sorry. I still have to address it, obviously, because, well, it's Summit. And I want you all there next year. It's very exciting. Um, most of the talk in our New Orleans chat has been about how much stuff they're going to buy in the core. If you don't know, the core is basically um, kind of like a big, I don't know, a bunch of football fields put together of just shopping for Beachbody branded product. But the difference this year, I can move over, Kim. The difference this year is they've actually got their own um, Beachbody line. Um, and it, it looks really cool, actually. So, and then they announced, too, that um, going forward, because I think the line could get really popular, the clothing line, not the brand, like the Body Beast brand stuff, but their actual clothing line. Um, we now get volume from purchases so if your customers and your coaches and stuff purchase that you get volume from that which is pretty cool because that turned into, could turn into something big um i just put the schedule up on the left uh the ignite event most of people who are going uh if they get in early enough on thursday or on wednesday they're going to the night new orleans event that looks very cool i mean to have Lindsay Matway and like Christina Delgado and Bonnie Angle and stuff speaking on, on that, that's going to be a really good start to your summit weekend. Um, so that I'm looking forward to that. And then, yeah, uh, summit is basically, you're just kind of running around learning and training and there's not a lot of time to sit down, which I like it that way. Um, it's a business trip. Obviously, it's a ton of fun, a ton of fun, but, it, but it's a business trip, and that's how I've always viewed it, viewed it even from the first one I went to. Um, we're going to have a Zoom call on Sunday night with the people who are um, with the people who are going, and I'll talk about this too, but this relates to any events, you guys, and this is why we're having a coach sneak peek that starts on the Monday after. I think that's the 17th, I want to say. We're, we're timing that appropriately because... We want people to have watched what you're doing at Summit and then want to, you know, go through the sneak peek. So you need to post. You need to be active. You need to share the lifestyle. You need to share what you're doing at Summit. Um, there are a lot of big-time successful coaches who literally were watching when they weren't a coach. They were watching someone at either a success club trip on holiday at Summit, and they simply said, okay, I want to do stuff like that because their life was not going down that road and they just made a decision. They're like, I want to do that kind of stuff and they signed up and they blew their business stuff. So you you never know, you know, what post is going to resonate with people and they're, everyone has different pain points. Some people never get to travel. That, that They want to travel. Some people, obviously, income is a pain point for people. Like this is an opportunity, even $100 a week. $200 a month, whatever people need in their life, it's, it's, it's important for people. So 
that's why you post and that's why you have to post with intent. Um, I'll say this right now too, for Summit, any event you're at with other teammates, tag them, post them, show yourself in groups, show that you're part of a team. No one wants to join Jamie. No one wants to join Carla. They want to join a team. They want to join something bigger. Sorry, Carla. They want to, they want to belong. I want to join you, Carla. <laughs> they want to belong to something bigger. Like yeah. everyone wants to belong to a community. And I think this is a pretty cool one to belong to. Yeah. So that's important that you share that and yeah. show you're part of this bigger tribe. And, uh, and I'm just going to jump in there too, is when you are in your sessions and you are, first of all, I'm sure all of you, but get a notebook. Um, however you organize your notes, your life, I would, <laughs> or, or what your thing is for me, it's sticky notes and that I can divide into pages. Um, so I would recommend dividing, um, your books up into things that you love, ideas that I want to implement, uh, something that really struck a chord or resonated, you know, things like that, whatever you want to break mm -hmm. it into, because you can't just take all these notes because it, they get lost. So I really want you to think about that as you go there. However you organize, however you thought process, think about that because you're gonna be getting a lot of information mm -hmm. um, and things that you can implement right now, things that you can implement in your challenge group, things that you can, so all those business activities, I want you to have that lens. Um, it's really, really important. I would bring Hydrate and Energize. You can get it in the core if you don't have it, but I would strongly recommend drinking Hydrate because it is very busy, guys, and it's not draining in a bad way, but it's a lot, and you're constantly with people. So I'd recommend hydrating as much as you can as well. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to mention too, uh, shoot, I lost it. I will say something. Keep talking. Um, <laughs> if, if you see a coach that resonates with you or that you've been following or you like the way they do stuff or like go up and talk to them. Yes. Like don't be afraid of who they are or whatever. Just go up and talk to them. That's what this is for. This community is pretty cool that way. Like they're pretty open, especially at summit. So if you like the way someone's mm -hmm. doing their business and you want some ideas, go talk to them and ask them. And, and they're pretty good that way. Like use this opportunity. It's a huge opportunity. You guys, um, Elaine, it's in, it's in oh, the app. I know what I was going to say. It's in the summit app. Um, the other thing too, guys, is to what Jamie said about posting, I also want you to be thinking about your posting for those of you that are attending summit, but also for people that aren't attending summit. So what are you learning through things that are being streamed on the live coach or the crush it page live? What are things that our coaches are posting in the crush it fitness chat that resonates with you? Maybe we do that. Maybe we start a little album on our crush it fitness team. page. We'll talk about it I but love that. where we can, a, sl a screenshot of a slide that really resonated with you. Why? Yeah. Um, those types of things so that guys, we can be, we really need to be uh, working together and collaborating because what I'm going to learn is going to be different than what you're going to learn. What you're going to learn, Elaine is going to be different than what, you know, so you're who I see. Sorry guys. Yeah. Carla and Elaine were yeah, picking on you. <laughs> um, so for everyone, Aaron, like, like um, I think it's our response for everyone going to summit. It's your responsibility to like share that back with people who aren't there like let's yeah and not only just on our team guys but the other point I have it's twofold is how are you sharing that on social media because when you're sharing either what you've learned a key takeaway you have to remember all the things you're learning about this business you can also apply in life you can also apply in your wellness journey all those things so be courageous in your posts and be bold and feel comfortable and confident to share that you are at a work seminar and what you're learning from a business perspective because you have to remember that people are watching you and wanting to know how they're going to learn from you partner with you be that mentor so you have to write like that and and share that and be the resource and and shout other people out for what you're learning because that's what this is about right this is about sharing what you've learned along your journey and that's what also really attracts people some, some of the most effective posts are this is how i used to be this is what i used to do this is where I was. This is what I've gone through with Beachbody and all that stuff. And now this is how I am. It's like you have to take people through that storytelling. Mm -hmm. And that's what resonates with them because like, yeah, I used to feel like that too. And now you're here at this point. And that's where a lot of good mm -hmm. posts start with that. We always talk about Bonnie Engel beats people over the head with that. She tells them, I used to be $100,000 in debt. This is where I used to be. Yeah. This is what I went through. 
this is where I am now. And she just, that's her posting schedule. Mm -hmm. And she just, you know, she lights yeah. it up. Yeah. So, so if you can apply that with what you're learning at Summit, but also in your coaching posts, that would be fantastic. So mm -hmm. that's what I wanted to jump in on. Uh, Tamara, if you yeah, message me, Tamara, about Ignite stuff, tickets, I might be able to help you there. Um, and the core opens uh, on Thursday for, I think, everybody else, correct? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You can see that in the app. So we're going to do this every month. Um, yes, it looks like a lot of colors and letters on one uh, page, but it this does make... the one. It's not? No, this is one you didn't love. It's but it's the still... Weeks. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Guys, no. we talked about this for like three days. Uh, oh, I, my God. No, but they, hold on. They, they saw the one that I, I put up. It's on the team page. <laughs> All I did was I put, or yeah, we put the July actual dates on where they go. So yeah. go look at the team page. Go to the top and search right in schedule, and the right one will come up. But this is what we're going to do. I just, all I wanted to say was we're going to do this every month. We'll do a July, August, and going forward with how – and this is just how Kim and I set up our months. Um, just so you have some form of a structure to look at and how it all works and you can show your coaches. But you may want to do it differently. July was different because we have Summit, so we switched the it up. Shop. And the Shift Shop launched And we're going back and we're pulling our groups back to three weeks with a one-week prep week to yeah. keep four weeks so that we're running one a month. Just so you know, so we'll share that too. So go look um, on the team page, and the right one's on there. But you you get an idea of how this works. Um, yeah, yeah, this isn't the right one. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> okay, so I wasn't going to talk about this, but there were some questions and stuff. So let's let's talk. I don't want to spend too much time on this because we'll get more into this later. But. Um, the UK launch, we're getting some questions about what should we do with people, where should we put them, all that stuff. I mean, first and foremost, as we've talked about for, I mean, I've talked with the UK for about 10 months now, um, but, you know, we've talked about in the past is you should definitely have a separate group for them. Have a separate group for them. And you were on a call with Arno, yep. the, the five-star call, and he was talking about, you know, what are some things that you should be sharing now with UK coaches to be successful? So do you yeah. want to talk about that For a little sure. bit? Um, so basically he was talking a lot about the fact that right now you need to be building relationships, making connections and helping people on their wellness journey. Uh, that's what he really, really talked about. He said, make sure that you can, you know, um, add them into your accountability groups, add people into your free groups, let them experience what it's like to be a, to achieve becoming a product of the product or on your way to being a product of the product. Um, he, you know, he said at the end of the day, you really want to make sure that people understand this is about transformation. This is about holistic. This is about helping people. Um, he also said too, to let them know that this is opening in autumn. Um, every time I say autumn, I think of autumn calibres. It's hilarious, but it's opening in the autumn, um, for the, the, um, the UK team, there is going to be a launch in the UK that Beachbody is putting on. All coaches are welcome to go out to the launch. I know that's something that we are planning on doing. We don't know dates of when that's happening, but that will be coming. Um, you know, but he did say, he's like, you need to start to, you know, treat your UK team as your, your UK family and that you're getting to know them. There's, we are about five months out, he said, from um, it's October. Launch. It's October. So we he said five months. He did say five months. He said that like four times. We're five months out from the launch, which means you're not going to necessarily be trying to train them and giving them a whole bunch of tools right now because guess what's going to happen? It's going to get lost. They can't use it. They can't use that, but they can be running free groups. They can be starting to build their lists. They can be starting to talk to people about what they're excited about. They, they can run accountability groups. Like yeah. Everyone there can get these money on demand. On demand you yeah. know? So they, they can, the, the really gung-ho one, oh, yeah. they can run, they can literally act as a, as a coach right now other yeah. than they won't earn commission. Yeah. But they're building up their contact list. They can yeah. use Shakeology. But like, there's no reason that they can't do that. And you're going to have a wide range of people who yeah. want to do stuff. The other thing that he said that really struck a chord, guys, is that it doesn't matter what rank you are. It doesn't matter what star you are. It doesn't matter at all to anybody living in the UK. They don't understand all of that. Yeah. But they do understand the word beach body, coaching, business opportunity, 
transformation, wellness, fitness, those types of things. So be really, um, be aware of that and, and just think about that, right? Rather than trying to pepper with the coach opportunity, that's there, but how can you help serve them and let them understand and experience the tools that we have, the products that we have, um, you know, add them to that accountability group. Um, you know, the other thing he said, um, yeah, tie it all back to results of how they're feeling. Um, when we start to, once we know um, what's happening uh, with launch dates, you can start to break into a bit smaller groups and training and all that good stuff because then you know when and how, you know, how you can do that. Um, he did talk about making sure on social media that you are using you know, good hashtags and that you're be, you're talking about the, what you do and that, and that it's apparent if someone were to go on to your page. So guys, everything we've talked about and you've all shared and we all share about, it's like, can you tell you're a coach? Do you have a solution? Do you have, you know, you know, do you have your why? Are you sharing all that stuff? You know, the other thing he talked about was thinking about young moms, millennials. You know, fitness and social media is huge. Um, but you also want to remember that the UK is about six months behind in adoption of social media. So, oh, jeez. Sorry. Okay, everything's intact. Um, so with, with that, just be mindful of that. So they may not be up to date on, I don't have an example cause I'm not sure what that means, but it's not the first time I've heard that they're behind on a lot of stuff. So, um, just wanted to kind of share that. Um, so think about your avatar, think about who you want to be attracting from the UK and connect with them, invite them into your free groups, invite them into your accountability groups. And then that's when you start to do some coach training with them once you know what's going on. We'll probably be running sneak peeks. We'll be doing all that same stuff um, for the UK team. You can be adding um, the UK team into sneak peeks now to give them more of an understanding as to what coaches coaching is. Um, you know, but that's kind of what Arno really talked about. Um, he also said that, you know, um, sorry. Yeah, so it's the UK, it's, it's, it's the fourth largest direct sales market. So people are very used to direct sales in the UK as well. So they understand what that concept looks like um, and why, why the Beachbody wants to be different. They don't just want to lead with the opportunity. They want to lead with this holistic approach. They don't want to lead and be just network marketers. They want to help people have a transformation. And I really want you to listen to that point. This is about connection and relationships. And Arno said that about six times. He said, we are here to help people get results and then tie it all back that there is an opportunity, but we're not leading with the opportunity that we're leading with the products and the promotion of a healthy lifestyle and serving others. Um, yeah, if he, I can, if that's what I got from him. He, he was also just saying like, make sure you let them know like, three ingredients for successful coaching is like, do you have a big why? Like, do you have a big heart, your work ethic, you know, are you coachable? So all those things you can share with people. And so I just want to see what I had next year. Yeah. After the launch. Okay. So what, what Kim and I are doing, um, and I would encourage you all to do this. Um, it's a reason we started so many months ago talking about connecting with UK people. Like we've been talking about this for a long time. I just, I, I guessed it was the UK. I guessed it from a year ago and that's where all my, targeting and ads went to. Um, but I would, I would put people in a separate group. The number one thing is get them in your accountability group, like put them in your accountability mm -hmm. group so they can see what's going on in there. Plus it's training for them to see how you do it, but that's where you're going to build your relationship with them as well. And that's the biggest thing is just build a relationship with them. They have to trust you because remember at any time they could be in five groups checking out coaches. Like mm -hmm. they, they could be, we, this is, this is, it's like uncharted territory for all of us because we don't know what's going to happen come October 14th. If that's the date, they can sign up with whoever they want. So I think it's a fine line of you don't want to overload them with training right now because yeah. that's just going to go over their head. Like maybe a month or two out, the ones who really are like, no, I want to be diamond right away and are really focused on it. Those you teach people about genealogy and how the tree works and where people go you know, and left and right leg and volume. But, but to, to come out with that now, that's just, 
-hmm. they need to understand the core principles of, of this business, you know? Yeah. And so we, the reason I haven't shared a lot of what we're doing in our group is because we just kind of started and this is new for me too. So we've had, um, we've had a couple zoom calls with them. The first one was basically just introducing who we were. Um, they had a few questions and stuff like that. Um, but what I'll, I'm doing, I actually haven't made, I've just got to add a few things to it is I've got a Google docs document of all the posts that I'm doing in our group in chronological order. And I'll give you all that link so you can follow what we're doing to see if, you know, how the kind of the order of how we're teaching things right now I'm posting in there maybe once every four or five days like I'm sharing stuff we do and crush it so they feel a part of the team but they're all in our group. accountability group too most of them are in our accountability yeah. group um but um I'll share that google docs with you I'll share our zoom calls that we do with them um and all that stuff so you can kind of get a feel for what we're doing but I think it's going to it's going to also be based on your group and what they're looking for and what they want. And the hard part about this about here, here's the hard part about the UK is like there's some people who there's some people in the UK who know so much about coaching because they've been waiting for it for mm -hmm. so long that they're like, tell me everything yeah. now where there's other people who are like, um, I, do, I work, I, I own P90X, but yeah. I like the business. I, I'm interested in the yeah. business opportunity. So the levels of information or the gap is so wide between mm -hmm. some of them that it's hard to treat them all as a group. So I think eventually what will happen is we start to go, you're going to see the ones, pick the ones out that are like a little more advanced, serious about launching and stuff. And you're going to have to work with them individually, just yeah. like every coach. And I've got some of them that are in our accountability group now that are fearful of coaching. I don't have a lot of friends. I don't have very much confidence. So I'm working with those now saying, okay, well, you should be doing some PD. And here are some examples of PD you can be doing. And so much like a client, I've been really building relationships, offering resources, offering those tools that they already have to kind of load their tool belt. So if they decide or if they choose that this is something they want to do come October, November, then that's, they're ready for it in a way. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like it is, you can teach them the vital behaviors. We're, we're pregnant now. We're all pregnant. We're leading yeah. up to delivery. They're, they're, <laughs> you can teach them, um, you can teach them the, uh, the vital behaviors, like it's very simple. Be a product of the product. That's mm -hmm. the first one for UK people is like show a little bit, start to show a little bit on social media about what you're doing. And that's hard for them, right? Like that's, but that's being a product of the product, you know, um, get in as best shape as you can. That doesn't mean you have to be a fitness model or anything like that or mm -hmm. have abs, just like all of us. It's like, no, get as fit as you can show people what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So come launch date, maybe they have before and afters, mm -hmm. maybe they can, they're being a product of the product, you mm -hmm. know? get their family and friends and invite them into the challenge group yeah. as well or into the coach group. So we've kind of just started to reach out to them and they're saying, well, listen, like feel free to add your friends that might be interested in the business opportunity customers, add them into the group too. So they can start kind of reaching out, like invite people. That's another vital behavior. Mm -hmm. so, so that's what Bob Lucido, Lucido. Lucido was saying too, right? So it's, you're duplicating that stuff. And PD, get them to start yeah. PD, such a simple and thing I, to do. Uh, Carla had a great question. Are there good UK PD resources out there? Um, I've been recommending what I use. Uh, yeah. Typically that, that's been transferable, but I'm not sure whether there's specific UK ones. But I, I don't know about I, that. I think the most, the most popular ones that we all, I think they're kind of global now and interchangeable. Um, but yeah. I think they resonate with them as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's what we're doing. So I'll share that. Um, I got to add a few things to it, but I'll share that Google Docs so you can see the training that we're putting our people through. And again, um, some of the really hardcore training isn't going to happen until probably September, October, where we really dive into that. And even them, I, I may put them in some of them in a group. And we're going to know when the launch date is, when we're going out, all those types of the, things. The big thing, well. the big thing I would encourage you to do in your group, even if you have two people, I would still put them in a group. Yep, I think I it's agree. important they know who you are I agree. and they trust you and you develop that relationship with them. The most important thing is, is just try to make it, make them feel like part of a team. And that's why I'm pulling things from Crush of Fitness. Like I'm actually sharing like the success club boards in there, the volume boards each week so that they're like, Oh, what is that? So they get mm -hmm. curious and they see names up there. I want them to be curious about what's happening. I won't add them into our team page because they're not a coach and I don't think that's fair. Um, but like 
you know, I want them to see that there's a bigger team out there and stuff like that. And I think especially for you, you should do that. Most of them know we have a big team, but for your people, they need to know they're part of something big too, right? And something successful. And that's really important. Um, oh man, I was going to say something. Now I forgot. Um, you know, we're thinking of getting little things made with Crush It Fitness on it. Nothing big. And like, you know, the ones who seem really committed to the team, sending them something like that. So they feel a part of it. Yeah. You know, sometimes a, a $12 t-shirt might be like, yeah, I would love to go with you guys. Because again, it's that team yeah. culture faith, thing. Faith, right? You're giving faith. So I hope that helps. Um, and again, if you're not quite sure about this or you have one person, just reach out and we can always help you and direct you the best way to do this. Um, I don't want you to feel like, oh, I don't know what to do. So please reach out if you're not sure, okay? Uh, Kim was talking about this. Yeah, so they'll announce the exact date at Summit. Um, yeah, official launch tour in the UK. Will, it'll begin after that in London. Kim and I are going to go for sure. We're all welcome to go. Um, oh, and there's only regular Shakeology that will be available once it opens. To start. And to the start. performance line. And the performance line. Yeah. It not, uh, no vegan will be available. They want to see what happens with sales and yeah. stuff first. So um, the other thing I was going to say is that Summit is, um, uh, oh, this is recorded, so I shouldn't say this. But yeah, there's there's a couple. <laughs> I hate that the reads are recorded. Um, Carl's been hinting at some big announcement at summit um yeah, and there's there's been there's, there's been two new products well no no i think it's bigger than that i, th I think it's there's what's the standard you sent to me there, oh, there's did two she? new products like yes. what she didn't tell me what they were do you want but me to say what i think they are no just i don't know for a fact sure james <laughs> i'll say it go for it mike <laughs> mike well, yeah I, i'll say what i think it is sure can you say it i don't think it's going to be bars no because they're too expensive yeah. But I think it's going to be kids shakes. Um, a kids version of Shakeology in two different flavors. So that was pretty specific. So I don't know. It's a rumor out there. <laughs> Good work, Mike. <laughs> she did say two products. That is two products. No, but I think um, Carl's been hinting at something like huge that's, I don't know. And, and, and he's been hinting that when the announcement hits at Summit, he's been hinting that make sure everybody's ready, which whatever that means. But like, I think what he's talking about is just make sure, make sure you're all in in your business right now and, and operating your business like you should be. Like make sure your, your challenge group is set for shift shop. Your accountability group is going. Like it's you, Team Cup coming up in team, August. Team so we'll Cup be talking is, about that. Team Cup is coming up next month. So that's a big one. We've got to sort that out. We'll sort that out, yeah. yeah. Um, just like like before the surgery. If, if 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 I was you, I would just over the next week or two just amp up your activities yeah. because I don't know what the announcement's gonna be, but I think you should be like on your game and ready to react to whatever that is. That's basically what mm -hmm. he's saying is be ready to react. So I hope it's something huge. I think it's something to do with Beach Buddy on Demand. And I think it's something to do with it's going to be placed somewhere with a company or I don't know, maybe something to do with Apple. I have no idea or something more. I just feel like it's be something related to beach buddy on demand. Like maybe it'll show up on all Apple computers or I, I don't know who knows. Like when you purchase it, like I feel like it's something big like that. Cause I'm, I, I heard him say something. No, I, he keeps talking about how it's going to be in every home and every home is going to have it. So that's what I think is, <laughs> um, so that, that's what I think it is, but just, just be ready for it. So, um, Kim's typing and I'm waiting, but just, I just want, yeah, you guys know I don't push events, but please, can you guys, can we just all be at summit next year? Like, let's get like 200 people there next year. How fun will that be? Mike. What? Mike's name. Give a treadmill, Mike. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay, Kim. Let's. Uh, so really, so this is what happened with with Quarter Force. We had a whole holding group and stuff, and I don't know how well that worked, but we're not doing it for shift shot. Uh, it was amazing. No, but I mean, the, <laughs> no, but the holding group, like there, what the was the reason group we did was that? was amazing. We had fun. We all we piled everyone in there. I think. I think anyone could have put them in there. I think was the thing. 
I think it was different because Beach Bun and Demand, everyone has it already. Yeah, but, but it, this is different than Court of Force. Court of Force was like a cool event where people bought challenge packs and it was different. It was DVDs and all that stuff. So I, it was different. Um, so, and, and it was further out in the launch. We started the event, the holding group three weeks prior, four weeks prior to the to the launch of Court of Force, I believe, mm -hmm. if, I'm, if I'm remembering correctly. So our, our prep week is going to start July 17th. The day one is July 24th. That's what corporate wants people to start it with. That's just what we went with because it was a little bit after summit. Give us a chance to add more people. Um, it's definitely, it looks like it's an athletic program. It is for everybody because there is a modifier. Like, don't worry about that. There's a modifier. But it's got that athletic feel. I always feel like it'd be good to reach out to ex-athletes as well. Um, for me, it's like I'm going to target a bunch of men because I feel like this is something that kind of speaks to them a little bit more than 21 day fix or something like that. Um, but I still think it's good for men, women, everybody. Um, do you want to talk a little bit about it? So oh, wait, as far as logistics go, there's really, old, the only thing to say is like, we're in July 6th, prep week to 17th, it starts the 24th. You have a ton of time to, to register people for this. But with, with any launch, you guys, it's, it's, I guess it's kind of like marketing 101 where you, you have to build anticipation. And excitement. To, excite, you have to build anticipation and excitement and they have to feel that either through your live videos or your posts. Like if you're talking, if you've talked about shift shop once in the last four weeks, there's no momentum being created by, by you at all. You have to build up to this. And as it gets closer, you have to talk about it more than more, but you have to talk about it in a non, non salesy way. Right. Which is sometimes tough, but like I feel over the next two weeks, and what you what what or what you should be doing is, I guess, with well, when is it launched? So Shift Shop's coming out on July twelfth. Chris right. Downing has decided that he wants to do the or company wide challenge group starting the twenty fourth. So um, Chris Downing is going to be on the surge with Carl uh, Dykler on July sixteenth for fifteen minutes, talking about it and getting everybody really really excited. And he's all, and he's gonna see, you will see him all next week at Summit, a lot of you. Um, for those of you that won't see him, we will make sure that we go live with him as much as possible um, so that you can either screenshot it or we can send you pictures um, of him as well so that you can use some of that stuff. And I think for those of you that are going to Summit and have time with him, Take a video. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I am very ballsy. I'm going to tell you guys right now, I just, I have my video camera ready to go with every single trainer. And I just say, can you just say a really quick hi to my challenge group and what a great job they're doing? And it takes two seconds and it's done. Um, so try to snap some of those videos, those pictures, um, and th those types of things. Mm -hmm. The same with Chris Downing. Um, but that's where... That's why Prep Week is starting and the, the, the date is July 24th. A, because Chris Downey didn't want this to release uh, over Summit with all the coaches busy um, and because he wants to help be get really excited with everybody in it. So you got six days up until the actual launch of the program. You have six days. Like promote it these six days, like build some anticipation, talk about how excited you are to get there. Then once the 12th launches, what I would do is I would start doing those workouts and showing them on your social media. Yeah. Like, like July 12th. And then promote yeah. it up until, you know, your, your challenge group starts. Yeah, exactly. That's part of this guys is building that yeah. momentum, but you have to show it on your social media or else no one knows what's happening. So another idea is take people. So, um, there are a lot of shift shop before and afters right now, all over social media from the test group. Take some of those, use some of those, um, you know, promote, start to promote that stuff. Um, you are know? They, Mike, are they putting those somewhere? Yeah, the there's, a whole, there's a whole file. Yeah, and I, this is going to come across as snarky, but I don't understand why everybody didn't sign up for the shift shop surge with, uh, on the dynasty wall. I mean, they showed, they shared every single meal plan in there. There's um, before and afters in there. Three people a day are explaining exactly the equipment you need for the program, what it is like for postpartum people on the program. Tomorrow morning, um, I go on and talk about it from a male perspective, how to get guys interested in the program. Mike, but, what's that? So can, can people still join that? 
Yeah, and it's live. Yeah, it's. Uh, I'll I'll repost it again on here, but um, yeah, on the team I, page. What's that? Can you post it here and on the team page for people? Yeah, no, just because there's so much great info for you guys to go back, and you can oh, yeah. te technically start posting. Hey, here's people you know on our team who have these, and here's kind of a sneak peek on what the meal plan's about. So it's worth it. And we're gonna put guys. We're gonna put the oh. We're going to share the meal plan too, so that you can have sneak peeks of the meal plan in the Crush It Fitness file section. So just stay close to that. I'll post that tomorrow. So you guys have a glimpse at the meal plan and everything and all the stuff that we have. Cool. Uh, there's a question. Any, any before and afters that are up there, Aaron, you are fair game to use. If, if people have put them up in that group, that means they're totally cool with you using them. Like, use those guys. Yeah, use them, for sure. <laughs> Susan, I love you. She's already been doing them. No, you don't have to ask them first. They're good. Go for it. Um, yeah, so we'll post everything that we have for Shift Shop that we can share with you now so that you guys can um, – use it. I love that idea of going into the surge. Um, the meal plan. I absolutely love the meal plan. I actually have it right in front of me. Um, what I love is they've got each plan has three weeks. So each week is different. Um, I actually followed the meal plan to a T. If you guys can see this, I'm going to post this anyway later, but it has a shopping list next to your plan. It is super comprehensive, super easy. And I absolutely loved the uh, meal plan with this. Um, it progresses to, I, what I really like about it is it from, from week one to week three, it progresses. Um, you, you shift out your yellows and you increase your green and you increase a red, uh, for me at least in plan A and the same thing happens in plan B, plan C, plan D. Um, it is that you don't feel hungry. Um, you feel totally satiated and it is following the container system, which is really cool. Um, I like that you can have, you know, purples, you even get a little bit more teaspoons, all that kind of stuff. So it is a different program than the fix. The nutrition program is different than the fix. Um, it's similar, but it's different. And I really like how it builds. It is very much a rapid rebuild, like he says. So he kind of, he, he kind of has you doing 25 minutes at the start. You've got your carbohydrates. You're feeling really good. And you got to remember, you're not removing carbs. You're just removing some of those complex uh, carbohydrates, right? The grains. You're not removing fruits. You're not removing your shake. You're, so you got to remember, you don't go to zero carbs. It's nothing like that. It's not keto. It's nothing like that. It's very specific to a, um, you know, what do we, how, do we, how would I say it? It's, Lots of, there's great fat, there's great mm -hmm. uh, veggies, there's great fruit, there's great protein for majority of it, and there's carbohydrates, yellows as well. Um, so that's kind of a, the nutrition plan in a nutshell. Is there mm -hmm. anything you wanted to add to that? No, it's, it's great. It's just, and then the workouts are basically the first week are 25-minute yeah. workouts. And that's uh, when you have your yellows. You, you kind of do Feeling good. cardio weights, cardio weight, although, man, it's, it's different. Like the cardio, I feel like, are... are they're they're like your legs are they're really leg focused and the weights are full multiple compound movements so the first week is 25 minute workouts second week are 35 and then the third week are 45 minute workouts which not a lot of us are used to with beach body um it's yeah they're 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 good workouts like there's a modifier but they are different than anything that um that anything that beach body has released before mm -hmm. and you're gonna you're going to love Chris Downing. He's um, very motivational. Um, he's just a different kind of trainer. You kind of like you get a dose of personal development with your workout as you're working out, which is cool. He's really good at keeping you going and working hard. Mm -hmm. um, he, yeah, he, he also really uh, wants to be involved in this as well. So don't be surprised if he films videos and then shares it with the network to be able to share in your challenge groups. He is all about motivation. He is all about connecting with you. Um, and I think that that's something that you can talk about while you're posting. Um, you can talk about that. He's been very thoughtful on the nutrition plan as well as in the, um, in his workouts. And you'll hear that you're going to, as soon as you start to hear his voice, you're going to feel how he tries his tagline words to guys, write these down 
is love, empower, inspire. Love, right, Mike? Is it, is it love? Love, empower, inspire. Those are the three words, guys, that he uses, the hashtags. Um, so that's something you might want to think about. Um, you can print off the agility markers or you can buy them. I would recommend doing that now, getting a sandbag if you don't have it. Um, because again, that's something that you're going to be able to use on the 24th. Um, you want to have your equipment now. So I would order those. Um, and the other question that Sharon had, there's not a vegan or a vegetarian meal plan. No, um, there's not right now with shift shop that's designated to shift shop and Aaron I agree with you it's very similar to the extreme the countdown to competition meal plan um, in a way uh, the last the last week's very similar to the countdown to competition for fixed extreme mm -hmm. um, and how big of it it's a, yeah sorry I was trying to raise my hand but I don't know if you guys saw yeah it's okay, okay. Hi, I'm so sorry. So I'm, I know I'm not the only one who's trying to figure this out with the 14 day trial. So are you guys going to be doing the free promoting the free 14 day trial? And if you do, would it be that prep week starts July 17, even for those that are in the 14 day trial? So their first day of 14 starts on July 17 and then like their seventh day or whatever it is starts on July 24th. Cause I've never done a 14 day trial and I'm trying to figure out how to incorporate it into something like this because we've, we've never, we've never taken into consideration the free trial when we run accountability groups only, only for like, I mean, Sean week was so unique, but only maybe even free groups. We don't do it cause we don't do the workouts and that. So we don't, we've never really talked about the free trial for our accountability groups. We just promote, challenge packs yeah so i and part. and to be honest pink i don't know whether that makes the most amount of sense to the 14 day because then they're only going to get a week of the workouts if they want to stay on them then that's an opportunity for you to sell sell a challenge pack but then they're in their group are you taking them out of your your group yeah and that that's that's yeah like that's what i'm trying to figure out because at what point do i take them out and then there's all the the steps right because if they're a 14 day trial midway through their 14 days are up how would i know that i need to take specific people out and if they if they choose to stay with beach body on demand they have to cancel their membership tell me that so that i can sell them a challenge pack and process that transaction like i just i'm not sure how people are doing it i'm i thought i would consider trying something new but i just don't know that this is maybe the program to do something like right. that. I don't and know. I would agree with you. It's a three week program, including a prep week, which takes it to four weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I think trust your gut on this one and make it easy for you. Um, I just, I posted today on my wall. You guys can go check it out. I posted an invite and I used my before and after just for the 21 days because we're doing a 21 day group. So I was trying to show real time of 21 days, the inches I lost, the pounds I lost, um, and then I invited them to it and I actually said community support meal plan all that stuff and I didn't give an option of the 14 days pinky personally wasn't what yeah what our approach was okay thanks. yeah no problem um, okay we're we're, 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 we're you know, I was gonna ask looking at that question sell if you need to with money back guarantee. Yeah, it's always a good one. Is that for pink, Melanie, or for us? It was for Pinky. Oh, okay. oh thank you. Thanks. Perfect. Um, any other questions, guys? It's kind of what we had for tonight, but um, any other questions? I have a question. How much space are you going to need? Because my rooms are really small and with my furniture and that, but it looks like it takes up a lot of space. The all the movements the, with the markers and you're you're going to need like eight by eight, ten by ten. But I mean, you can modify. I don't think you need to necessarily. I did it on a very tiny porch, like on a, that tiny porch in Amalfi. It was teensy, and I did it. I did run into the chairs and into a table, but. You, you just have to be creative and be careful. Mm -hmm. 
Um, does anyone here use the challenge tracker app rather than the Facebook group? So interesting you asked that because we've been talking about that back mm -hmm. and forth, haven't we? Uh, we don't use the challenge tracker at this point. Amy, we're thinking about maybe piloting piloting it in the fall when life settles down a little bit <laughs> um, for us between August and July. Um, does anybody else use the challenge tracker? I use it. Um, I use it for every group, but I only use it um, for them to track their workouts and their shapes so that they can physically see that they've done five workouts or seven workouts a week. Um, and then there's not everybody uses it, but there is a good amount that use it and they use that as well to post their like their self, sweaty selfies and their Shakeology pics in there as well. But I say in it at the beginning that it's really just for them to use it to track their pictures, their measurements and their ongoing activity and everything will really be happening in the Facebook group. Yeah, that's what we're going to do in September too, Erin. I love that. Anyone else want to weigh in on the challenge tracker? No. And they can also opt in to not do it. You send an email to them and they can either do it or not. So that's the nice part about the challenge tracker too. Oh, Joe, good. You can tell us how it goes. <laughs> All right. Does anybody have any other questions about Shift Shop? I'm, uh, we have our group set up. My plan right now, like I do with every new group when I get set up and started, is I'm going to do a description. I'm going to take some pictures of Chris Downing off his Instagram page, off of there's a great Shift Shop Instagram page. There's a great Shift Shop um, uh, page on Facebook. There's great stuff about Shift Shop on Beachbody On Demand and on Beachbody Blog sorry, on the Beachbody blog that you can pull off articles, really great stuff about Shift Shop. Um, so start to gather that stuff. Go on Pinterest, type in Shift Shop. There's so much information, guys, that there's no reason that you don't have it all at your fingertips. You just have to, you have to be a bit resourceful to find it. Find what speaks to you. What, what um, picture do you like the best? Use that one. Don't use the same one that everyone else is using. Be creative with that and make it your own. Um, you can speak about, like I said, I'm going to post the menu plan um, so that you have access to it. Use some of that. What do you love about it? Take it off, research it, pull some of the things out from it that you're going to learn and share that. Maybe try it for a week um, before it launches or when it launches on July 12th so you start to be able to use it. Um, put in some great recipes in there, Shakeology stuff. That's all the stuff that I'm going to be sharing in our prep to our prep week. I also am planning on having some live video of Chris Downing working out in there. I'm going to do some live with Chris Downing when I pin him down. Um, that's kind of our plan um, for our shift shop group prior to us launching to keep people very excited um, and the only people I'm going to put in there are the people that have already purchased so that would be our existing customers now on demand and then the clients that are responding or future clients that are responding to my post from today and the ads that we may run I have yes. a question yes um, Kim I believe when you were doing it you were partly on vacation or on your trip in Italy is that right yeah how friendly is it to being on vacation? I, I actually am going to be on vacation as well as two challengers have been concerned about it and I'm not worried about breakfast, lunch, snacks, but dinner and going out. How did you manage that? I didn't. <laughs> did I say that really quickly? <laughs> we were in Italy. What, what are you supposed um, to do? But that's Sorry, a great, my shift shop. That's a here. really great question. <laughs> and half the other people were on the shift shop plan with us as we're all eating buffalo mozzarella. Um, we got our workouts done. We did them. Uh, I would recommend printing out the workouts. There's a printout of the workouts you can do because our Beachbody On Demand did not work when I was on vacation. Um, so I had a tough time following the, that part of it. But I did get the workouts done from what I remembered. Um, you can download them. So I would recommend you download them to your computer. You can download up to seven videos. So if once, it, when are you on vacation? Well, and I'm more so worried about the food part of it. The okay. It's not a problem, but sticking to the food plan, like our, if you go out to dinner, 
can you order things that would be that would categorize into the yeah totally so you could do for example it's like one of the dinners is is four ounces of cooked ground beef uh spaghetti squash stewed tomatoes one of them is halibut um with with squash so you could do a steamed veggie and a steamed uh, cauliflower uh this is plant this is week three hold on so okay so week two would be like a steam a cup of steamed asparag asparagus a sweet potato lamb chop so you can still enjoy yeah dinner um and then yeah i mean even the even the lunches are like grilled shrimp lettuce shredded uh, cabbage dressing on the side so much of what you already are eating and following i think would totally be able to do it there's a you're i think you'll really love the meal plan like i said we're going to let you guys get your hands on this today um and then yeah you can have cheese you can enjoy it like there's so much you can have on it so okay. and even if you're swapping out some of your teaspoons like some of your peanut butters for that extra cheese or that yeah. not that i recommend that if you're really following it strictly but when you're on vacation that's your substitute, right? Got it. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. And I'll uh, put the workouts in there too, so that you've got them, the um, written out workouts. Awesome. Yeah. You can purchase them now, Erin. And the Surge Shift Shop has vegan meal plans in it. Great. Thanks, Natasha. Awesome. Can I ask you guys something? Natasha, do you want to download those and put them in Crush It? Thanks, girl. Yes. Pink. Okay. So um, I saw this in the surge group as well. I didn't get a chance to look into detail, but Kim, you mentioned it too. You said something about plan A. Are yeah. there different plans and for like week one, two, three for different levels? And what are those? Because that would be awesome to talk, to, like to speak to it when we go live. So we let people know that there's more, you know, specific meal plans for your specific situation kind of thing. Yeah. So to help like, you versus everybody. Totally. So it's specific to their same as 21 day fix. For example, you will get a quick start getting started, which I thought I had here and you go through here. It is the ship shop fuel analyzer. So again, I'll put all this in there. So you, you fuel oh, up. Okay. Yeah, so, so is it based on plan A, B, C, based on your calorie range? It's based on your gender. So, okay. so based on gender, weight, height. That's it. Okay. No activity thought, level or anything. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. And like I said, when I send you guys a lot of this stuff, so what you need, the right tools, agility markers, dumbbells, um, yeah. All that stuff's kind of in here. Marker formations, all that, all your information is going to be in the program materials as well come July 12th. They might, Susan, have the markers in the core. Anything else, guys? Nada? Who's excited for Summit? <laughs> All right. We will see uh, some of you next week. Um, we will not be having a team call next Thursday unless someone else wants to run one, which is cool. Um, but we won't be there. So... Have an awesome weekend. Have an awesome week, you guys. Um, and everyone who's going to Summit, we'll see you there probably Wednesday. And uh, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. Jamie, I have a question for you. Yeah. Uh, are, did you stop recording? Uh,